Hi everyone, my name is Vanessa. Uh, I'm making this video today because I was inspired by an experience that I had recently with Olivia and her Be Successful program. Um, so as you all probably know, Olivia is a sex, love, and relationship coach. Um, and uh, she does individual sessions with people to explore uh, topics that uh, are important to you uh, specifically and that uh, tailors the exercises and the meditations and the practices to really address the core issue um, of some of the behaviors uh, that, that you want to address. Um, so I want to just tell you guys a little bit about myself first, uh, just because I think uh, a lot of people when they first start exploring like relationship coaching or they kind of happen upon it, um, they're either uh, intimidated uh, because maybe you feel uh, I don't know enough about this yet, like I don't really know about energy work and and about, um, you know, inner child and about, you know, all of these things that seem very spiritual uh, and maybe inaccessible um, if you haven't dedicated a lot of, a lot of study to it. Uh, but that's not the case. So I wanted to address that first. Uh, and then also maybe you're a little bit skeptical, um, which I think is kind of like the end of the spectrum that I was in. Um, so I am a young professional. I'm in my 20s. Uh, I live in Miami. I have like a very normal job uh, That's like illegal and it's boring. So I'm not gonna go into it, but um, I'm not like a I'm not in the field professionally of energy work um, or of spiritual healing um, I do take uh, good care of myself. You know, I work out and I uh, was already on this journey of like trying to uh, work my brain out as much as I do my body uh, which isn't like an insane amount, it's just, you know, consistent work to meet goals. Um, so when I met Olivia, uh, my headspace was already there. I was already kind of starting to realize that there were things that were under my control uh, that I could work on to address past traumas that have shaped my uh, current behaviors. Uh, there were things that I could work on to feel more connected to the universe, uh, to find strength within myself, uh, things that I knew that I could address uh, within myself that were going to just help me be happier, uh, more at peace, have healthier relationships, whether romantic or otherwise, um, and especially with myself. Um, so in that context is kind of uh, where, I, where I met Olivia. Uh, and when we did our session, um, I just want to tell you guys kind of like what it's like, because that, that was the other thing. I didn't really know like what to expect. I'm like, you know, is this really something that's going to work? Uh, but I decided to go into it with zero expectations. It's just, I knew that I trusted her. So that's the one thing that uh, you feel immediately when you're in Olivia's presence. It's like, okay, this is a space of uh, no judgment. This is a space of trust. Uh, this is a space of you're going to get out of it as much as you put in. Uh, and if you don't get anything because you're not ready, that's okay. Uh, you can come back uh, when you feel better, when you feel ready, or when you want to explore something different. Um, so there's that immediate trust, uh, trust uh, building, which is very important, uh, especially for me. Um, and uh, you just kind of uh, go in, uh, start talking about what you want to work on. Um, so for me, particularly, um, I was working on confidence. Uh, I wanted to work on building my confidence in myself because I felt that that was going to help me have healthier, stronger, more long lasting relationships. Uh, in this case, um, I wanted to work specifically on my romantic uh, relationships. Um, I am in a relationship right now. I'm very happy in my relationship, but there were still you know, things from the past that maybe I hadn't really totally closed off. Uh, and I really wanted to prevent all of that baggage uh, from creeping into uh, this current relationship, especially because you know, we had issues in the past uh, that I realized uh, some of it came from me. Uh, some of it came from my insecurities and from my traumas and from my lack of trust uh, from previous experiences. Uh, and I wanted to just build confidence in myself so that I knew that those same issues weren't going to repeat themselves. Uh, it was too precious of a, it is too precious of a relationship to not try to make it the best that it can possibly be. So I went in, um, sat with Olivia on a couch. Uh, the first questions were kind of like, okay, what do you want to work on today? And at the point I was kind of like all over the place. I'm like, I want to be happier. I want to be more confident. I want to love without attachments. I want to build more trust, da da da. And um, in a very non-judgmental and gentle way, uh, she kind of narrowed what we were going to be discussing just by asking, you know, questions, just continuing feeling like, okay, like, do we want to work on this or do you want to really do this? Like, are you feeling this way? Or are you feeling that way? Until we finally kind of like narrowed 
the real issue which was something that i didn't even expect but through this you know back and forth uh, with olivia and like soul exploration almost um, I realized that what I really needed to work on was cutting a tie uh, with somebody in my past. Uh, somebody that I thought I had already, you know, gotten over, you know, it had been years. Uh, and in my mind, I'm like over this person, but I guess like in my heart and my soul, I still needed closure. Um, and this lack of closure m had made me very insecure um, as far as you know, am I doing the right thing? Am I in this for the right reasons? Like all of these like doubts that I had been having that were affecting my confidence, which is what I thought I wanted to work on, actually came from uh, not having fully broken this energetic tie because at that point it's energetic. It's a, there's no contact, there's nothing. It's just, you know, you've met somebody and they're still out there in the universe somewhere uh, and you still have some type of connection, uh, even if it's uh, single, like unilateral, even if it's just me, there was still something there uh, that I very much wanted uh, to cut uh, because it wasn't serving me anymore. Um, I just didn't know that it was there still. Um, so through the conversation with Olivia, I was able to identify that it was. And when she was like, okay, you know, this is what we, we're going to work on inside. I was like, oh, for God's sake, like not again. Like I've already worked on this by myself. I thought I was done. And she's like, no, 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 we're going to do this session. Let's do this exercise. Um, and, uh, and you can just tell me how you feel uh, afterwards. Um, so I was like, all right, let's do this thing. Um, the exercise that we did that day was a, um, Olivia can probably edit this later to insert here what the exercise is actually called. But what it consisted of uh, was me kind of embodying myself and then embodying that other person. Uh, and then having a conversation uh, and speaking truths uh, and and then getting closure. Uh, and physically what that looked like was uh, a set of pillows. Um, so two pillows. So it was me, I sat on, on a pillow and that was me. And then from uh, across there was another pillow and that was him. Um, so we started with like a grounding meditation, a little bit of breath uh, work, just to kind of get in the moment and build that space. Uh, and then it was just kind of a free flow. Um, you know, Olivia, I could hear her voice. Uh, I, I had my eyes closed. I felt safe to close my eyes. Uh, and I could just hear her voice guiding, uh, not leading, not leading my thoughts, but just like guiding the conversation, you know, uh, and being like, okay, Vanessa, what do you want to say? Uh, how do you feel? Uh, what, what do you want to talk about? And then it just kind of was very natural for me. I mean, I, I said uh, what I had to say um, when I was done. Um, Olivia is kind of like, okay, are you done? Are you, have you said everything you need to say? And I'll switch places, ground in. Now I'm him. Uh, now, you know, channel uh, what, you know, what the response is. Uh, and I had this conversation uh, and I think maybe we went, what we, <laughs> me, <laughs> Us, went back and forth uh, maybe twice um, and uh, at the end you know like <laughs> I wasn't expecting to cry uh, I'm a little bit of a crybaby so I wasn't totally shocked um, but I didn't like realize that was gonna happen uh, I cried um, I you know accepted um, and at the end um, you know Olivia says are you are you done is this it now we're going to do you feel like there's still a tie? Do you feel like there's still an energetic tie? Uh, in that moment, I said, yes. Um, <clears throat> now I feel it. Now I see that it's it's real. It's here. Uh, and she, then she asks, do you want to cut it? And I was like, yes, I, I want to cut that. Um, so literally, she's like, take your scissors, take a deep breath, and just cut the tie. And I did. And... Um, in the moment, I felt relief, like, whew, okay. I don't know if it was relief that I had done the thing uh, and that I had done that work uh, or an actual like energetic uh, release, relief, uh, however you wanna put it. Uh, like I mentioned in the beginning, I consider, you know, I, I, I'm open to all of this stuff, but I know there's a lot of people out there, including myself, that are still like, you know, skeptical sometimes about things. Um, but all I can say, I don't know what it was, but it was a real uh, release. It was a real like weight off my body. And then yeah, I, I wasn't crying anymore. <laughs> uh, 
uh, we did a little exiting um, meditation, some breath, and and then uh, we talked, and I told her about my experience, and I was like, damn, like, I didn't really even know that that was still there, but, like, I'm thinking really hard about this. I'm thinking really hard about the conversation, and honestly, I didn't know the content. I kind of, like, blacked out a little bit, um, but I'm thinking hard about the experience, and I'm thinking hard about that person, and I just, I feel different, and I didn't really know how to verbalize it at the time. Um, went home, went about my life, and... Um, then maybe like two days later, I was like, oh, I want to think about this again. Uh, <laughs> I'm bored. Let me think about this. Uh, so I sat down with my thoughts uh, and it was like, whatever was there before was just gone. It had just like evaporated. Um, it wasn't a thing that I was carrying with me anymore. I could think about it and like remember things. Um, but there wasn't like a tug, like before I, I felt like this tug, like whatever it was, it was like mixed feelings. Um, that was just gone. And it was like, oh my God, <laughs> like I didn't even realize that I still was carrying this with me, but now that it's not there anymore, I can tell. Um, and you know, um, I don't want to be dramatic, but for me it was life changing because, uh, in that moment and now, like uh, having a strong relationship with my current partner uh, is a very important thing that I'm doing in my life. Um, on top of like, it's not like the only thing I'm doing, but it's like one of the things <laughs> that I'm, I'm, I'm very focused on and, and I want to be good at and I want to give it, you know, best foot forward. Um, so it was life changing because um, it gave me like that confidence that I was seeking. Um, through what I think is kind of like like here's the confidence and here is what I did but like I can't get here I can't get here without addressing all of this this orb over here of like energetic tugs that are taking away from my goal um, and even though you know we didn't sit there and talk about being confident you no know, we talked about cutting this one energetic tie it was like a step closer to where I wanted to be uh, and it's translated into a much more honest relationship with myself, uh, which then, you know, transfers over to having a much uh, more transparent and open relationship with my partner. Uh, and being able to trust myself more, um, to be, you know, genuine and, and to know that, you know, what I'm saying and what I'm doing aligns. Um, that was so valuable. Um, but I will say one thing, I think it's very important to keep doing the work. Um, Olivia is an amazing guide, uh, and the way that she, uh, structures her sessions is, you know, multiple sessions. And I think that that's so important because it's just like when you work out once, you know, you feel great and whatever you're sore and you're like, okay, I did my thing. Uh, and you probably like feel better, look better, like all this stuff. And then if you stop, then you lose those gains, you know? Uh, it doesn't mean that you're never gonna be able to get them back. It just means that if you're really working on something, you have to keep doing it. And it's the same thing uh, with your mind and with your spirit. Um, you have to be consistent about it or else, you know, it's still good to do it every once in a while. It's better than not doing it at all. Uh, but um, for me personally, and I think for a lot of people, the point is to continue getting better, is to continue to build on those gains. Um, so I think, you know, multiple sessions are a must. Um, you, know, you may decide that you at some point want to like do, continue doing the work on your own or whatever, but um, especially at the beginning, the guided uh, part was very important because uh, I didn't really know what I was doing. Uh, I hadn't thought about energetic ties in that sense, like that language uh, hadn't come to me uh, until I talked to Olivia. Uh, and now I've been able to transfer that into other things. I'm like, okay, was there something, like, is there a tie here that I'm not addressing? Is there um, something in the universe that I haven't um, considered <laughs> that I'm still, you know, tied to? Um, so even just having the right language uh, to describe what you're feeling and what you need to work on. Um, is something that uh, if you don't have it yet, uh, having a guide, having a coach is so important. Um, so yeah, that's that's about it. Um, I, you know, I'll close by saying that uh, I highly, highly, highly recommend uh, 
working with Olivia, you know, booking that session to see if it's, uh, if it's a relationship that will be aligned. Um, and then consider doing this work because holy shit, it's life changing. It's not hard. It's hard emotionally, but it's not hard to dedicate the time to doing this. Uh, and it just is life changing. Um, it has been for me and I'm sure it'll be for uh, all of you if you're open to it. So thank you. Bye.